What is up, Gorilla Nation? It is Relentless here, bringing you yet another division to build video. And actually, it was it's an unexpected video. I wasn't planning on releasing any builds today, but after a conversation with my fellow teammates uh, of the Gorilla Nation, the Gorilla Militia, shout outs to them, um, after conversating with them, you know, we got to talking and about the Sawyer knee pads, the exotic knee pads. And I was like, well, you know, I've never made a bill with them. And then I got to thinking, and since we were already, you know, in the dark zone or whatnot, having fun, doing our usual PvP, you know, farming for some better stuff, the per used and per usual, um, then it just came on us. And I was like, well, I'm going to try them out. And, well, the results were unexpected, but uh, really, really quite interesting and went over uh, really well. But without me, you know, dabbling too much or, you know, rambling on, let me just send you over to some gameplay uh, and just show you. Get it relentless, you got me. Camp down. Can't bend this straight. <laughs> Bitch. I got one down, but... <laughs> Oh, he revived it. Uh, uh, at least I ain't gotta wait no 35 seconds. Think of Relentless. That's what I like about Relentless. He do he does not care how many people are there. I uh, know. Uh, he got on negotiator. <laughs> As you can see, it kind of actually, uh, well, for me personally, it went better than what I thought it would. And it actually is really, really effective. And if you don't know what the Sawyer knee pads are, Basically, one of the talents is short circuit, 80% jammer pulse charge speed, which is you don't even have to use the jammer pulse or any kind of pulse in general at all. And of course, the first wave tech. Disruption effects now destroy hostile scale proxies. After staying in cover for four seconds, you gain the lead by example buff. So basically, you pop into cover, four seconds later, you get the lead by example buff. What is it? Gain 50% bonus armor while performing a cover to cover run. If the distance traveled is at least 8 meters, disrupt all enemies within 10 meters and gain 10% bonus armor for each defensive Lego for 4 seconds. This disrupt occurs 1 second after completing the cover to cover. And as you've seen in the clip, I covered to covered and it's immediately when I got there, 1 second they got disrupted, I popped out, unloaded with my SMG with my uh, severe potato aim. And by the time I finished one clip, I was into my second. And by then, I, you know, I emptied a whole clip. And within those four seconds where I had that bonus armor, then as soon as I switched, that procced Bloodlust, which in turn gave me even more damage when I went on to the uh, Warthog, is what I call it. Um, the Vector with that 1,320 RPM. And with that additional damage, damage boost, you kind of seen the results. So it went better than expected, and after playing with it a good long while, it actually was really, really effective. Especially with, you know, with hives and seekers and drones and defender drones and people using, you know, high-powered, you know, rifles within cover, you know, the way it is where you can be tanky and pretty much, you know, three to four tap somebody. So the cover to cover works out really well, especially when you're with teammates because while they're focused on them or not paying attention or since I'm on console hard for them to more or less peg me as I'm doing that cover to cover especially if you don't more or less telegraph what you're actually doing get up there up close and with that additional armor gives you a little bit more survivability so that way you can inflict a lot of damage and then even more damage with bloodlust and you can kind of see where it's going now with that I'm not using the two defensive uh, mod slots that are in the Sawyer knee pads but I do have a utility but the best one that I had um, was just something that gave me 2% extra reload speed. I had a 5% somewhere and I don't know where that's at and I got a 7% in my backpack. But that is basically it and of course the chest piece uh, 59,596 health, 7% crit chance. Only 6% weapon damage, which is, I hope that was higher. But then the Wipe and Wear does have two offensive mod slots. And I get another 10% weapon damage from my two mods that are in there. I get 5% on each one for a total of 16% weapon damage on my chest. If I had at least 10, that would make it 20. So if you have better pieces, then that's going to be even more effective uh, than what mine is. And of course, the holster. Perfect Bloodlust with 41,201 health. Perfect Bloodlust is weapon swapping grants 20% weapon damage for 5 seconds. This buff is lost for 5 seconds if you weapon swap while it is active. So essentially, 
you know, most people switch weapons anyways, unless they're just using a weapon as their holstered talent for it. Um, so if you're constantly switching weapons instead of reloading, like generally most people do, um, then as you switch for five seconds, you get that 20% weapon damage. And if you're using SMG, that five seconds, uh, you can empty a whole magazine, especially in a vector at 1320 RPM at 53 bullets. So you can do a lot of damage in those five seconds. And that works out really well when you're running a Berserk and Clutch. And of course it has an offensive mod and I get an additional five and a half percent going to my SMG. Now the third and final piece, um, which is I wanna maneuver some things. And this was basically just happened by accident that we were just more or less just testing and really just having fun, not really trying to, you know, make any or create any new bills. We're just having fun and just, you know, got in a conversation and this is what came out of it. But 29,280 health, eight and a half percent crit chance. Of course, I use centered. Um, of course, if you want concussion, that would give you even more damage. Uh, but I have potato aim and on console, so it's not as easy for me personally to run concussion. But you know, it is better for this instance. But I have really no problem um, getting a kill and then having that 30 seconds of status effect immunity, which really comes in clutch if you don't really have that much hazard protection at all. So um, these are the things that I would change uh, first and foremost. Um, as you can see on my gloves, I run Suck Me Off gloves. Um, these are the current best ones that I have. 10% um, SMG damage. I wish the LMG damage or rifle damage was crit chance. And of course, clutch. Crit hits restore 20% missing health and repair 1% of your armor. So it's geared more or less. You want to focus all on your health and you want your armor popped because once your armor is popped, then you get the most bang for your buck, the highest potential out of Berserk that one can get when all your armor is gone. And then you survive and pretty much self-heal off your crits. So it's high crit. But basically, when it comes to these two pieces, uh, to get more weapon damage out of what I already have, uh, I need and want a Suck Me Off mask instead of the wipe and wear. Um, because the weapon wear doesn't have a mod slot in it anyways, and this one wouldn't be too bad um, if it just had more crit chance on it. So I still have 25,349 health, uh, and restorative does come in handy because when you do kill someone, uh, since you're surviving off your health pool, uh, you might necessarily need that 30% health proc once you know you're in like that reload motion, and you know once you're reloading, then you're not shooting, and if you're not shooting, you're not critting, you're not critting, you're not self healing. So that could come in handy, but of course, if you want some hazard protection, you know, that is always crucial in this, you know, status effect, uh, st status effect meta anyways. So definitely some uh, insulated here uh, would even be better than that health on the kill. But most importantly, to get the most crit chance out of it, since I can't have crit chance on my knee pads where I once had it, then you want crit chance definitely on your mask. So that would allow me more or less to use wipe and wear gloves that actually come with you know crit chance uh, with only two offensive and I actually do have a decent pair with the 12% SMG damage and the 3% crit chance but since the crit chance on my suck me off mask is so low I can't really use it unless I want to dip well below 50% crit chance but you can mix and match uh, however you see fit. You might have better pieces, a uh, chest piece that has you know more crit chance on it, or you can play around with it. Like I said, I just stumbled across of it and found out it was really effective. But without rambling or you know talking your ear off, let's finish uh, going through the rest of it. Thirty-four thousand seven hundred eight health, six and a half percent crit damage, and three and a half percent weapon damage. Vital spark, and one was like one would be like uh, you're not using. Um, any kind of damage with your skills because you're running double heal. So how do you proc spark? Well, the disrupt grenades or flame grenades. Um, if you you know set somebody on fire with them, they count as an explosive first and then fire second. So it will actually proc spark just from using any of the grenades. Even the EMP grenades from the technic technician when it puts out a disrupt, that'll also proc spark. So you can proc it but it's not essential to the build it's just an added bonus if you can and since if you know what the flame grenades do they spread out pretty you know in a wide area so i mean all you have to do is you know catch you know just a little bit of them and then it'll proc spark to get that extra damage and then the weapons it's just your run of the mill whatever you personally prefer i have the 22.6k uh, mp5n with strained and allegro and cannon 
and of course a Vector SBR 9mm with a 53 round mag, 1320 RPM, also was strained in Allegro and recharged while equipped, skills deployed at full armor, have 25% duration charges and ammo, and of course and my sidearm, um, I'm just using it for the likes of the protected reload, but if you prefer, I also do like to switch it up and go with uh, the greased, since I am you know, switching my weapons in order to proc the perfect bloodlust, then this will speed up my transition between weapon swapping by 10%. But it's whatever your personal preference are and whatever you, you know, feel comfortable with. But I'm still at 255.1k, similar just as all my other uh, Berserk and Clutch builds. The only difference is I'm just a little less in my crit chance, but as you saw, it was still really effective. And to go over my stats, as you can see, I'm still at 50.5% crit chance because I am ever searching for that mask to make up for the ground that I lost. I have several masks that have 11% crit chance. I'm eager eager to roll it on it uh, as long as it has a good health pool. And I have uh, one with 29,000 health on it uh, and that also already has crit chance. And uh, of course you want to be at crit chance cap if you can. So that is crucial. 43% crit damage, that is before strained. So with strained proc, that comes up to 93. 50% headshot. On down, we got 16% all weapon damage bonus, and of course, uh, 44 to our SMG because we uh, are missing an offensive uh, mod slot from the wipe and wear knee pads that we typically use. So we lost 5.5% uh, from the mod there. But still super strong, and with the crits, uh, then you still are doing really, really uh, a lot of damage. And of course, 4% explosive uh, damage from that utility mod, which is nothing big. And of course, that's the rest of it. But try it out. Like I said, it, it just through my conversation, we kind of stumbled upon it, and I tried it out, and it was actually a lot of fun. And just, you know, getting used to running the cover to cover. And sometimes uh, we saw a bunch of people freak out, like, what was that? Like, I mean, like they've never seen a disrupt pulse before, but they know I wasn't there long enough, more or less, to charge it. They just saw me, you know, um, running cover to cover, and then it popped, and then it kind of dawned on them. But they, there's really nothing they could do about it, because once I popped up, you know, I had that additional armor once I, you know, got there, and then got that 40% because I had four blues. So it worked out really, really well. So I'm interested to see if you, any of you guys or gals out there are utilizing the Sawyer knee pads and how you are running it. But the Berserk Clutch Sawyer knee pads are a lot of fun, and I'm going to have loads of fun grinding for the uh, right pieces to continue to min-max this uh, and continue to use it because it is quite fun and you still dish out a lot of damage. But I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and I, like I said, it's a lot of fun. I appreciate all the support. I'm going to stop talking your ear off. <laughs> we'll see you fudging later.